So this was the my father uh, Jaime Garcia Reserva, um, the Toro. Reserva Reserva Especial. Especial. Sorry, mm-hmm. That's the word I was looking for. And it was the Toro size at a 6x54 with a Connecticut Broadleaf uh, Maduro wrapper, uh, an Ecuadorian binder, and a Nicaraguan filler. Uh, the appearance, dark chocolate hue, uh, oily, veiny, somewhat lumpy, single band, firm feel overall. The pre-light sniff on this, I got barnyard, I got chocolate, I got hay, I got coffee. Uh, so, not, like, kind of standard things that you get from that uh, Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. Yep. So I'm looking back at my notes. I had a hickory wood coffee and a hint of chocolate. Yeah. Uh, the initial light, I got a punch of sweet, uh, a punch of spice and sweet coffee followed by bitter chocolate and cinnamon. Uh, the retro hail is sweet and spicy. Mm-hmm. The uh, first third of this, uh, sweet coffee, dark bitter chocolate, earth, backed by a bevy of spices including cinnamon, a little nutmeg, a little cayenne, and black pepper. Uh, the retro hail is sweet with some pepper and cinnamon, uh, solid ash, good burn. The uh, second third of this cigar, balancing on a line between sweet and spicy, the cigar delivers a robust blend of flavors and a pleasant aromatic room note. The lingering aftertaste is sweet as a spicy pepper and cayenne. Um, earthy and nutty tones begin to emerge. Hints of underlying salted caramel appear as well. Retro hail is peppery, uh, spicy cedar and cinnamon. Solid ash, good burn. Now this got a good burn all the way through. Um, it was not a perfect burn. Yeah. Um, it burned okay. Uh, uh, towards the last third of this cigar, the burn got a little bit uneven. I hit it for a second with my lighter. I didn't even count that against it. It was just one of yeah, those things. Yeah, just a little touch up. Yep. But um. The last third of this pepper and spice is back off a bit, which is a little weird because towards the end of a cigar, usually those things ramp up. Mm -hmm. But the pepper and spice is backed off a bit, leaving room for sweeter and nuttier flavors. Chocolate and coffee along with rich earth and salted caramel enliven the palate with a peppery and woody finish. Uh, The Retro Hill is sweet cedar with uh, pepper and cinnamon. Solid ash, good burn. At eight dollars and fifty cents for this, I gave it a solid seven. That is that was what I gave it. That right? is an inexpensive cigar the, for eight and a half dollars that delivered a lot of flavor. And at that <clears throat> size, that's a long burn. That was an hour and fifteen minutes for me. Hour yeah, and yeah, almost it, twenty it is, minutes. Yep. So you said basically much the same as what I said in my review last week. You just said it a lot better. 